Okay, here's another demonstration of how to get perception neuron motion capture data over to other applications via BVH. Uh, in this particular setup, this is my test uh, or take recording 14. Um, this one was actually, you know, not too bad. I'll just play a little bit of it here. Feet are a little bit chunky. That's uh, more to do with my settings. I haven't really made any adjustments here. So I don't really want to bother with that. We just want to get this over to Lightwave and get in there. So what we want to do here is we want to change this option. Now you have two places to change it. You can either change it here every time or you can go and change it in your preferences under settings and you can change the output format to XYZ. Lightwave is an XYZ coordinate system rather than YZX or YXZ or ZYX. So make sure you change that first. Okay, so just use the XYZ option and then when you go over to export it should remember that once you make the selection change so you want XYZ and instead of using just straight biovision you want to use 3D Studio Max biped and that displacement option will change to just disappear then we can hit uh, export okay then over here on layout in 2014 go file load import export mocap bvh setup and the first thing we want to do is we want to change the scale to 0 0.01 and you might character 14 boom there we are and this will load It'll take a few seconds to load it and then Lightwave to kind of store all the keyframes, which is normal. Most apps are uh, pretty quick at doing this. Lightwave's not bad. And there we go. Now, here's one problem that happens that I've asked for this to be changed is that um, Lightwave, for some reason, decides that on frame one, the character is going to immediately be boosted to a different keyframe point, uh, and it's exactly one meter so um, what we need to do is we need to go to go to the objects now it says that it's there so it adds literally the height so instead of um, it doing that on this object what I do is I go and select the BBH mocap master and just set it to minus one meter and this will pretty much put it in the right spot and you can see this by going to the left view Let's go and select that ground plane and it'll snap to the proper location on frame one. Okay, so if we start from frame one now, then we're all good. And that's just really how simple it is. Um, nothing really too complicated. It's just a matter of knowing which export settings you need and which coordinate system your software is dealing with. So again, for Lightwave, when you go with export, you want XYZ and you want 3 Studio Max and it will come in. Uh, the other options um, cause problems so remember that it's not necessarily the Axis software or your host software it literally is these settings because these uh, settings are set up specific for uh, different um, uh, mocap imports and the BioVision 3 Studio Max biped option is the one that works for Lightwave as well. So there you go and um, it comes in very easily and 2018 has no problems dealing with all this Key, key frame action. It's really quick and responsive. Um, no problems there whatsoever. And you can load multiple characters at this. It's uh, it's very very good dealing with the um, bone systems uh, that come in with BVH. Um, Lightwave actually has a really good capability of swallowing a massive amount of keyframes. Uh, I've done um, 20 minute takes with the BVH export option recorded from the Perception Neuron software, and it's swallowed it twice quite easily uh, into layout even in 2015 a little like 2015 was a little bit sluggish in terms of the performance once you load multiple characters all right so uh, that's it hope you enjoyed this um, we will talk to you soon but more mocap stuff remember we have a sale on right now at liberty3d.com uh, use the um, coupon code all capital letters l3d eight years strong and that's the number eight so uh, check it out, it's 25% off. Um, sale goes until May 15th, so make sure you get on in that before it expires. Talk to you soon.